The life of a duck is shaped by various factors, including its species, habitat, migration patterns, and reproductive behaviors. Here's an in-depth look at the life of a duck. 1. Types of ducks and their habitats. Ducks are part of the Anatidae family, and there are over 120 different species of ducks worldwide. They are found in nearly every part of the globe, except Antarctica. Species diversity. Some of the most well-known duck species include the mallard, wood duck, teal, pintail, and canvasback. Each species has different characteristics in terms of size, color, and habitat preferences. Habitats. Ducks are highly adaptable and can be found in a wide variety of habitats, including freshwater lakes, rivers, marshes, swamps, coastal areas, and even urban parks. They prefer environments with access to both water and vegetation, which provide food, shelter, and nesting sites. 2. Physical Characteristics Ducks have several adaptations that allow them to thrive in aquatic environments. Webbed Feet Ducks have webbed feet that make them excellent swimmers. The webbing acts like a paddle, helping them move efficiently through the water. Waterproof Feathers Ducks have a special gland near their tails called the uropygial gland, which produces oil. They use their beaks to spread this oil over their feathers, making them waterproof and enabling them to stay buoyant in the water. Bill A duck's bill is designed for its feeding habits. It has a structure called a lamellae, which is a comb-like feature that helps ducks filter food from water. Different species have different shaped bills based on their diet. Dabbling ducks, for example, have flat, broad bills for scooping up food, while diving ducks have longer, more tapered bills. 3. Feeding Behavior and Diet Ducks are omnivorous and have a varied diet depending on their species and habitat. Their feeding behaviors can be categorized into two main groups. Dabbling and diving. Dabbling ducks. Dabbling ducks, such as the mallard, feed on the surface of the water or just below it. They often tip up in shallow water, with their tails in the air and heads submerged, to reach aquatic plants and small invertebrates. Dabblers also forage on land for seeds, grasses, and grains. Diving ducks. Diving ducks, such as the canvasback or scop, are more specialized feeders. They dive beneath the surface to catch fish, aquatic insects, crustaceans, and mollusks. They are capable of staying underwater for extended periods as they pursue prey. Diet Variation Ducks eat a wide range of foods, including aquatic plants, algae, small fish, insects, crustaceans, mollusks, and amphibians. Their diet often changes depending on the season, availability of food, and their migration patterns. 4. Migration Patterns Many duck species are migratory, traveling vast distances between their breeding and wintering grounds. Migration helps ducks take advantage of seasonal changes in food availability and climate. Migratory Ducks Ducks that breed in temperate or colder regions, such as North America or Europe, typically migrate south to warmer regions during the winter. Mallards, for example, breed in the northern hemisphere but spend their winters in southern regions, such as Central America or the southern U.S. Non-migratory ducks Some duck species, particularly those in tropical regions, do not migrate and instead remain in the same habitat year-round, as they do not face harsh seasonal changes in climate or food availability. V-shaped formation During migration, ducks often fly in a V-formation. This formation helps them conserve energy, as the lead duck creates air resistance, making it easier for the ducks behind to fly. Ducks will take turns leading the flock to reduce fatigue. 5. Reproduction and Breeding Behavior Ducks exhibit interesting reproductive behaviors, and most species are seasonally monogamous, meaning they pair up with a mate for the breeding season but find a new partner the next year. Mating Rituals During the breeding season, male ducks, drakes, engage in elaborate courtship displays to attract females. These displays include unique calls, head bobbing, and showing off their vibrant plumage. Males of many species, like mallards, have brightly colored feathers during the mating season, which helps attract a mate. Nesting After mating, the female builds a nest, often hidden in dense vegetation or close to water. Some species, like wood ducks, nest in tree cavities, while others nest on the ground. The female lays between 6 to 12 eggs, depending on the species. Egg Incubation The female incubates the eggs for about 21 to 30 days, depending on the species. During this time, she rarely leaves the nest, except for brief periods to feed. The eggs are well camouflaged, helping them avoid predators. 
Ducklings. Ducklings are precocial, meaning they are born with their eyes open and covered in down feathers. Within hours of hatching, they are able to walk, swim, and feed themselves, although they still rely on their mother for protection and guidance. Ducklings are extremely vulnerable to predators, and only a small percentage survive to adulthood. 6. Growth and Development Ducklings grow rapidly, and their development is shaped by both environmental factors and the care provided by their mother. First few weeks. During the first few weeks, ducklings stay close to their mother, who leads them to food-rich areas and warns them of predators. They feed on a diet rich in insects, which provides the necessary protein for rapid growth. Flight. By around 50 to 60 days old, ducklings have grown their adult feathers and are capable of flight. Once they can fly, young ducks often leave their mother and become more independent, joining other juveniles or adults in flocks. Molting. Ducks undergo an annual molt, where they lose and regrow their feathers. During molting, ducks are temporarily flightless, making them more vulnerable to predators. This process usually coincides with the non-breeding season, allowing them to recover before migration or the next breeding cycle. 7. Communication and Vocalizations Ducks are known for their vocalizations, and different species have a variety of sounds they use for communication. Quacking. The most well-known sound is the quack, but this is primarily associated with female ducks, especially in species like the mallard. Male ducks tend to have quieter, raspier calls. Other sounds. Ducks also communicate through whistles, grunts, and growls. These vocalizations can convey warnings, signals for mating, or calls to ducklings. Ducklings, in turn, communicate with their mothers through peeps and chirps. 8. Lifespan and Predators Ducks face numerous threats in the wild, which affect their lifespan. On average, ducks live between 5 to 10 years in the wild, though some species can live longer. Human Threats In addition to natural predators, ducks face threats from human activity, including hunting, habitat destruction, and pollution. Many species are hunted for sport or food, while wetlands, important habitats for ducks, are often drained for agriculture or urban development. 9. Conservation and Importance to Ecosystems Ducks play a crucial role in their ecosystems. They help control insect populations, disperse seeds through their droppings, and serve as prey for many animals. 